Hey friends, it's Teresa here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm creating for the Allison Pennington creative team, working with the recent Lumen release. This was one of the collections she collaborated with Rachel Jeffries on and was released for DSD Weekend. And so here is a look at some of the elements and some of the combined elements that I printed. I love showing these uh, because you get to see the the pieces, those elements uh, off lifted off of the computer, basically. And then this is my background paper. I have a couple of my elements on laid out on there already, uh, so I don't forget where they go. But I wanted to share with you a deeper look into my computer process today. So here you are uh, looking at my Adobe Photoshop screen. I use the CC version on a PC and this is the pattern paper that I began with and I wanted to go again for a kind of layered collage type look here that that fits this style of a collection very well. So you can see the things that I'm adding here. They are other pattern papers. And uh, so the background pattern paper, the black and white pattern paper, the polka dot strip, and the white, the mostly white textured piece. Uh, those were all just uh, bits of pattern paper that I added to the background. And then one of the things I did was uh, took the, the lasso tool and traced around some of the squares in the white textured pattern paper and created a little clipping mask for journaling, two of the journaling cards, the one that says, uh, the sun is gone and so am I. And then also this one down here with the clouds and the raindrops in different colors. I added some very selective bits of color. <clears throat> and then I also toned down on those journal cards, I toned down that uh, opacity or the fill a little bit so that the texture from the background would still show through when I printed those as uh, individual elements. And then here you can see the individual elements that I will print and cut using my uh, silhouette tool and also my photo here. And so again, a, a, a little square that I lifted from the background, my photo that has also been toned down on the fill and then a couple of things that I've added to it to uh, blend it in a little bit and also just to add a little visual interest. I love the scribbles on the photos. I, for some reason, I'm really into that right now and that beautiful blue floral. Also, this little uh, uh, star scatter there. I just went ahead and clipped those to the photo there so that it would show the correct way. And then uh, also I added the little tag at the bottom with the little black and white bow. Those I printed out together as one element together so that it was a little bit easier. And then there's also, as you can see, a couple of word strips, some washi strips, and things like that. Um, what I'm doing here is just sort of finalizing that layout to save for my file. And then here we go back to my desk and uh, pulling the layout together after printing and cutting. So the photo here, I'm distressing the edges just a little bit just to uh, repeat the distress element that shows on that pattern paper. Um, love that pattern paper so much. And all of these little opportunities to add little bits and pieces 
that tell part of this story. And so this story, I'm not going to go too much into detail because it is medical stuff. And some people, uh, I'm one of them, don't really like to hear about med- other people's medical stuff. Um, but you can read more detailed journaling uh, over on my Instagram. I'll share that as a last image. But the main emphasis here is I think the, the, um, the overall look of the layout that tells this story of some medical challenges and how they've sort of zapped my energy, zapped how I feel about myself. And the reminder that, uh, some good days will, I hope, uh, return very soon. We'll get to the bottom of all the medical stuff and uh, head back into more energetic days is what I'm hoping for. Um, so I'm going to cut off the, the bottom of that tag a little bit and just let it touch the scribble that I added there above that section. Um, so notice how the original pattern paper, only the bottom portion of it shows through underneath the other pieces. And it also created that great home base for the journaling. And then the scribble, I use that as a base for the blue flower and a little tiny word strip here above the journaling and notice also the little sprinkles there the magenta stars and the turquoise sequins thanks so much for watching i'm so glad you joined me today i'll have links to the product down below and of course i'll see you back here again real soon bye bye